This is the opportunity for me to teach my son about Elton John. He saw the, he saw this person's outfit and thought it was fantastic and very different. So it's time for me to teach him about Elton John. <laughs> he said, Elton John? I said, yes, the guy that sang was great. <laughs> it's Rocket Woman to see the Rocket Man. Here it's Rocket Woman to see good people. <laughs> Rocket people, happy new year. Happy new year. It's a good one. Yes. Jerry. My name is Lacey. Okay, Jerry and Lacey. Yeah. Oklahoma. Uh, oh, you're from Oklahoma? Yeah. From which city? Uh, I thought you're from Hot Springs. No, I live here. Oh, you live here? Ah, but originally from Oklahoma. Yeah. Good. But I'm from Hot Springs. Where are you originally from? I'm from Hot Springs. Oh, here? Yes. No. You don't recognize Hot Springer? No, I he don't. He doesn't recognize no. Hot Springer. No. I'm the hottest person in the world. Well, you you are the hottest woman here, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You come into town twice a year to get flour, meal, sun is gold, from the you know, back to the Hey, house. you. So there was two, two guys from Oklahoma. And they were, you know, in this saloon, sitting out front. And the answers, old man, is, hey, old man, you need dance? He said, no, I can't dance. I'm going back to my mind. He started shooting at his feet. Oh, well, he was dancing, but he danced towards the mule. He got to his mule, he put on a 10-gauge double-barrel Peters. He stuck it in one boy's mouth and said, son, you ever punch this mule? You know, so I'm getting ready to try. <laughs> I do like that.
was worn by Elton on his 1974 World Tour. By the way, the glasses and the shoes I am wearing are the real deal. These were Elton John's in 1974. It's an honor to wear them this year.
Thank you very much, everybody. Hey, Jamal, I'm gonna give this band a little break for a minute. How about these guys and girls up here jamming with me tonight? Remarkable, the talent that you can find outside the Home Depot at 6.30 in the morning. Well, I haven't finished my shift yet. Uh, it's good to see you all this gentlemen. Know, thank you very, very much for having us tonight. What a great audience, but I do want to say what a privilege to play in this beautiful venue. Thank you for coming out to the show today. I'm having a great time. Good job on Monday. <laughs> Turns out we're not very good at that either, by the way, just so you know. But I emailed the guy back. I said, uh, you know, how can I help you? He said, call us immediately, right? So I said to my wife, she was sitting there with me, I said, what should I do? You know what I mean? I, she said, well, you can't ignore it. You can't ignore it. You need to call the guy back, you know? And uh, I phoned him, and he sure enough picked up the phone. And I said, this is the office of Elton John and David Furnish, Piccadilly Circus in London. And I said, uh, you told me to phone you, you know what I mean? Oh yes, yes, listen, oh thank you so much for calling us. Uh, it's nothing bad, it's nothing bad, right? Which took me completely by surprise. And he said, no, 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 it's actually something very good. We were wondering if you wanted to be part of a project that we've got going on, you know? How you doing that, pal? You want to take a picture? Is that a thing? <laughs> I should say, this outfit, uh, we're cheating a wee bit now, you can see we're fast forwarding in time. We're no longer 1974, baby, we're now in 1984, that's right, where this outfit was worn by Elton. Um, so the guy said, listen, I'm going to tell you much more when we see you, but the idea is we would like you to be part of a project that we've got going on with Elton. Um, can you get out to LA next Saturday? And uh, I don't know if you can tell, that was a bit of a journey for me, you know. So I said, yes, I guess. I said, listen, bring all your outfits and we'll see you when you get here. So they flew me out to LA and uh, they took me to this, this big movie studio. It was Warner Brothers Studios, right? And he said, here's what's going on. You see, Elton uh, is going on his farewell tour and it's going to be called Farewell Yellow Brick Road. And some of you all might have seen the tour when it came through, right? What an incredible, incredible show. Right? I mean, um, he said, here's what Elton wants to do. Because it's his goodbye tour, he wants to show big videos of him on the screen when he's younger, you know? Um, but he doesn't want to use the real footage. It's a bit old looking and stuff. He wants to recreate that footage and stage it in a Hollywood studio. And, uh, well, he wants you to do it, right? And I said, well, that's going to cost you. All right, that's going to cost you. That's, uh, I'm over at Oak Lawn next week, mate, and I'm not messing about it. Okay, let me just tell you. <laughs> so, oh man, it was incredible. They had me wear all my outfits, and they had me do a whole bunch of moves, and sing a whole bunch of songs, and it's verse, chorus, verse, chorus. And they told me, um, you know, back in the day, Elton John was, he was high as a kite, wasn't he? Let's be honest. So, they had me running around the stage, man. They had me jumping on the piano, jumping off the piano, crawling under the piano, jumping off the stage, jumping on the stage, running back here, playing the drums, playing the guitar. It was meant, right? I was so tired. So we shot this all week long. And you see, the idea is when you go to Ellen's farewell tour, and some of the shows, I'm exhausted. I mean, my fingers were all bleeding, my knees were black and blue, I had no voice left. And I said to the director, all right, what song are we going to do today? Because this was the following Monday, we've done it all week. And he said, well, I'll go and sit at the piano because I don't really want to tell you what we're doing today because you see, well, Elton is here at the set and he's going to come out and explain it to you. Well, it's actually true. I'm sitting there and Elton comes walking in and it's like the King of England, you know? I was like, you don't know what to do, you know? So I sat down, he came over and he was like, you know, how are you doing, young man? And I said, good, how are you doing? I said, listen, I'm having a great time listening to all the footage and watching all the footage. And, uh, it's, it's exactly like I remember it. I can't wait for you to see it on the big screen at my farewell tour. You're doing an incredible job. And that coming from Elton was like, it was like the Holy Grail for a tribute act, you know what I mean? 
So he said, we're going to do the most important moment of my whole life. We're going to recreate my first ever gig in America back in 1970. And we're going to do the song which I opened up with. And uh, I've got it right here for you, my friends. On good authority, the song that Elton opened his first ever show with in America back in 1970. Um, well, it went exactly like this. It's a little bit funny It's feeling inside
reason for love It's too hard slaving In two separate worlds But it's no sacrifice No sacrifice It's no sacrifice 